atrocious conditions for the support race to the European Grand Prix, which suited Renault and their wet weather Michelins literally down to the ground. In other circumstances, the race would surely have been delayed. But this was a Grand Prix meeting. The show had to go on. Only headlights visible in the cloud of spray at Redgate. Soper led, and Winkelhock didn't last long. But very deliberately and very sure-footedly, Harvey's Renault was carving through the field from 14th on the grid. Ten laps into the race, and Harvey moves past Steve Soper for the lead. Soper going on to give a graphic illustration of the advantage that Harvey had. And this problem for Soper at the old hairpin, it allowed Alain Menu through to give the underdeveloped, unfancied Renault team an astonishing 1-2 victory in one of the most prestigious rounds of the season. Soper held on to third, which was important in terms of the championship, with his teammate Winkelhock not finishing. Soper now with a 12-point lead over Harvey and an 18-point lead over Winkelhock with two rounds gone. But the weather would not be on Renault's side at the next round at Snetterton, where normal service was resumed.